Good afternoon. I'm Drunch Thunderman reporting live from Mammoth Camp. To start off our broadcast, we have the most peculiar missing persons case. On July 15th, Mammoth Camp started, as it always does, with a detox station, and one camper decided that he would mess with the status quo. To give us more on the story, here's Colby Hendricks. It was just like regular Mammoth Camp. I mean, just like last year, going through detox, having a great time. You know, we were just walking through, and this guy I just met, apparently he was like some MLS star. He's a great soccer player. And we were uh, at a soccer station in detox, and he, he messed up. It was, it was scary. So many of you are probably wondering, what exactly did happen at that soccer station that Mr. Hendricks referred to? Well, we'll let the clip speak for itself. Oh! Oh, right in the face! Oh, that is brutal! Oh, let's just play it one more time to make sure. Oh, yep, that is definitely in her face. For any of you who don't know, the camper in the clip is one Matthew Baber, a newbie camper who, after the events in this clip, went missing under, shall we say, mysterious circumstances. The woman getting mercilessly pelted was one Sarah Lee Rhodes, a senior staffer who has been involved in the camping incorporation for almost four decades. So, as you can guess, she has friends in high places. Naturally, our staff decided to interview her first. So Sarah Lee, is this disappearance of Matthew connected to the face incident? No. I am the soul of mercy. I am full of forgiveness. Absolutely not. I am not a person to harbor any kind of regret. I am just not like that. I am so sweet and compassionate. I am so compassionate and full of mercy. Yeah, I've been going to Mammoth Camp for um, four years now, and Sarah Lee's been at every single one, and she's probably one of the nicest people here, but kidnapping Sarah Lee? Don't tell her I told you this, but she's a little bit too frail and old to do something like that. Yeah, I knew Sarah Lee, but back in our day, you know, we called her sweet Sarah Sizzle. You know, she's probably the best rapper I've ever seen. She was on a couple of my albums, and she went on tour with us once. That was lit. Yeah, I've, I've heard these rumors about kidnapping and stuff, and, you know, that's just not her dog. She's, like, one of the nicest, caring people I've ever met. <sighs> Matthew, man, he was one of my best friends. I was right there. He was kicking the ball. And suddenly, he just went right to Sarah Lee's face. <sighs> Poor kid. Sarah Lee's face was just like the face of a monster. There's no doubt that Matthew's disappearance was because of Sarah Lee. There's no doubt. Oh! Oh! Uh, Sarah Lee involved in Matthew's disappearance? Uh, nah, there's no way. No way she can do that. Well, there you have it, folks. While the world may never know what happened to Matthew Baber on that fateful July day, this anchorman can deduce one thing. That sweet, kind, loving, gentle Sarah Lee Rhodes had absolutely nothing to do with it. This is Drench Thunderman for Mammoth Camp News, signing off. See you next time.